So Tesla's EV crown is under attack, but everyone's got the story wrong. The real disruption in the automotive industry isn't actually what you think. Now the conventional wisdom says that Chinese automakers are winning purely on price. But after diving deep into the latest manufacturing data, I've discovered something that's far more significant. What if I told you that the Chinese companies are actually developing new models 30% faster than traditional automakers? And that this is just the tip of the iceberg. You see, while everyone's focused on the price war, Chinese manufacturers have quietly built a massive technological advantage. Now, they're not just making cars cheaper, they're fundamentally reinventing how EVs are developed and also manufactured. So let me show you exactly how they're doing it. So first, let's take a look at the technology. Chinese manufacturers have developed breakthrough battery chemistries that traditional automakers are struggling to match. But here's the real game changer, vertical integration. You see, companies like BYD aren't just assembling cars, they're controlling the entire supply chain from raw materials to final assembly. And it gets even more interesting. You see, while Western manufacturers are typically sourcing these components from third party suppliers, Chinese companies are developing proprietary systems that can rapidly be modified and also improved. Now look, this isn't just about cost savings, it's about the speed of innovation. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Chinese automakers are leveraging their massive domestic market to gather unprecedented amounts of real world data. And this is what they're doing. They're using this data to optimize everything from battery performance to user experience. This means that every vehicle becomes a data point for improving the next generation. And what's really revolutionary is how they're actually using this data. They're not just collecting it, they're implementing changes in real time. When they identify a potential improvement in battery thermal management, for instance, they can test and implement it across their entire vertically integrated supply chain within weeks, not months or years. But the most impressive part, they've solved the scalability problem that's plagued traditional automakers for years. And this is through advanced robotic automation and modular manufacturing processes. They can rapidly scale production while maintaining quality at the same time. And this is why BYD can launch multiple new models in the time it takes legacy brands to develop one. And if this helps, let me give you a concrete example. BYD's newest factory can switch between different models on the same production line with just 60 minutes of downtime. Compare that to the industry standard of several days and you can start to see why they're able to move so much faster than everyone else. So this raises some fascinating questions. Are we witnessing the end of traditional auto manufacturing as we know it? And will legacy automakers be able to adapt to this new paradigm? It's gonna be interesting to see. And perhaps most importantly, what happens when the Chinese manufacturers start applying these advantages to premium vehicles? That's the big question. Now look, based on my own analysis, we're not seeing the end of legacy brands. I'm gonna be honest with you, but we are seeing a fundamental shift in how cars will be made. The future of automotive manufacturing isn't about choosing between the West and the East. It's about adopting this new data-driven, vertically integrated approach. And we're already seeing this with Volkswagen's partnership with Xpeng. And I expect to see more of these collaborations in the coming months, mark my words. And you know what? I actually think the market is underestimating the magnitude of this shift. It's going to be huge. And while investors are actually focusing on quarterly figures, they're missing the bigger picture. Chinese manufacturers aren't just taking market share, they're redefining what's possible in automotive manufacturing. And you know what? It's not just about EVs anymore. It's about the future of mobility itself. Just think about this. While traditional automakers are targeting a 40% reduction in EV costs by 2026, Chinese manufacturers are already achieving similar cost structures today. And this isn't just a temporary advantage, guys. It's a structural shift in how cars are developed and manufactured. The global auto industry is at a pivotal moment in time. And the changes we're seeing now will reshape the next decade of transportation. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. Do you actually think legacy automakers will actually catch up? 
And if you've tested any, what do you think about the current crop of Chinese EVs? Have you had any experience with them? Have you test drove them? I'd love to hear what you think. And if you have done, please drop your comments below. And speaking of legacy automakers adapting, our next video tackles Ford's latest EV sales records and their ambitious turnaround plan. Is it too late or too little? Or will the blue oval make the comeback of the century? Who knows? Please hit subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss it. My name's Des from the Electric Oracle, signing off, and I'll see you in the next video.